The popularity of comics has skyrocketed in the last few years. The medium is no longer limited to kids. Adults have jumped on the bandwagon. Extreme Studios in Anaheim produces approximately five to six comic books per month. But getting from concept to comic is not as easy as it seems. Each comic book starts with a story that must be scripted or plotted. First we plot the book. Um, Rob will plot the book, or Rob and I will get together and plot the book together. And then we give that plot to the artist, and the artist draws the story from that plot. Words become pictures when the concept is turned over to the penciler. A penciler is the person that reads the script, the story that we get, um, and basically visualizes it in his head and um, draws it out. Once complete, the drawings are turned over to the inkers who draw over the pencil marks. Each line is inked, giving definition to the drawings. It takes the inkers an entire day just to complete a page to page and a half in a comic book. The next step is the colorization process. Thanks to modern technology, most of this is done by computer. Uh, well, we take the, the, inked, uh, the inked art and we scan it in and we, um, we color it on the computer either on a Macintosh or an IBM-based machine, and then it's uh, proofs are made, and then after that it's output to film. The film is then sent to the printer. The books are printed and then distributed to your favorite comic book store. In our next report, we'll talk to some of the artists at Extreme Studios who have some tips for those of you who want to become comic book artists. So you love following the adventures of your favorite comic book heroes. You say you can draw doodles better than the artwork in half the comics on the market today? Well, take heart. You too can become a comic book artist. All it takes is talent, perseverance, and a little luck. Okay, a lot of luck. I'm from Long Beach generally, but I just graduated from UC Berkeley. So I just got back in town and I was looking for a job and I decided to pursue comics, which was my childhood dream. And I went to a local comic show where Rob and the gang were signing and showed Rob my stuff and he was impressed enough to hire me and give me a chance. So I'm just totally grateful to Rob. Uh, my story is just exactly the same as this. The only difference is I, um, I live in Anaheim, really local, and we got hired the same day, yeah. same place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we got lucky, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Most of the people that we talked to at Extreme Studios had one consistent theme. This desire to be part of comics started in their childhood. Doing comics is something I've always wanted to do since I was a small kid drawing and writing my own comics in fourth and fifth grade. And uh, it's about the best job that you can do if that's what you want to do. If you want to be an it is important to have the right tools for the job and not to get discouraged. Get a portfolio together and show it. Many of the comic shows around Southern California have scouts available from the various comic studios to look at your work. In our next report, we'll spotlight an artist who is creating his own comic book for Extreme Studios. One of the new talents at Extreme Studios is an artist by the name of Dan Frega. The 20-year-old lives in Anaheim and got his start on the Young Blood Number no. Zero series. He then became the penciler for the Blood Strike series and now does much more. Here at Extreme Studios, um, I'm a I'm one of the creators here. I used to work on a book called Blood Strike, and that was a lot of fun. I was working with a friend of mine, Marat Michaels, and that was a tremendous amount of fun but I felt it was time for me to move on and, and do my own thing because I was getting uh, a little I guess restless because I wanted to do it all you know because there's times where uh, I, I was the big complainer quote unquote because I would do something and then and then like an inker would come in and then it wasn't exactly what I was thinking so I was like and they said well if you inked it yourself then you'd have no one to blame but yourself and I said well okay then make me make me an inker then so so now that I'm inking my own stuff uh, it's a lot harder. I used to used to produce a page a day, and now it's like a page every two, three days because I'm doing everything. His latest project is called Black Flag, and Dan has dreamed up some very interesting characters for the 62-page book. It's one of those stories that have been in my head o on and off uh, ever since I was like a little kid, but uh, the actual characters I don't think were in my head until recently. But uh, it's sort of one of those things where when I was a kid, what were all the things I wanted to see in comics that I never saw? Uh, like monster, like you could see monsters and stuff, and and guns and stuff, but you d generally didn't see everything you wanted in one, one title. 
So what I wanted to do was put little kids, uh, big giant gorillas, uh, super fighters, armored women with, uh, you know, motorcycles and stuff. I, I, I'm trying to put it all in here. The creative force behind Extreme Studios is Anaheim resident Rob Liefeld, who, with several other artists, left giant Marvel Comics to form the independent Image Comics. Rob has had a big influence on Dan's life. There's two people, two really uh, big influences, and uh, the first one would be Rob, and that's, that's fortunately, that's my boss. I met him when I was 16, and I uh, had talked to him, and I learned that you know, real people draw comics. It's not just somebody, some high machine or something. I just, wow, this guy's amazing. And then uh, Todd McFarlane. And then once I started getting more into comics, uh, like Art Adams and Michael Golden, but Rob and Todd were like the main guys that made me want to draw comics. When I picked them up, I said, you know, I want to do this. And, you know, they're the two that really started it all off. He hopes to release his Black Flag comic in May. And with that, he has one secret he would like to let everyone in on. And a little secret that I'm going to let people know is that the, uh, the cover is going to be inked by my uh, childhood hero, Todd McFarlane, and that's not going to be solicited, so uh, the multivision watchers, you're the only ones that will know that.